Hey guys, welcome to this video. There's been another update to Claude Code. I can't believe how much they're cooking right now. I just tested this out, guys, and you can basically make an entire AI integrated app in about three minutes. Now, previously, this would take a lot more time. You'd have to set up a lot more things, but because of the Agent SDK plugin, which is what we're talking about today, you can just see how easy these things have become. Now, I only realized this because when I wrote my normal Claude, I realized it popped up with this message about writing slash plugin, right? I didn't even realize this. So apparently you can just go on plugins here. And the first one that came up, the agent SDK dev instantly caught my eye because this is something I've been waiting for. This is basically a way to build with the Claude code agent SDK, which if you don't know, that's the building blocks for Claude code available to you or anyone for you to build a very simple AI integrated app. So for example, I made this right here, uh, which is an AI content writer. Don't ask about the name. You put your URL, you put your topic. So obviously this will remind you very much, most likely of Harbor. If you don't know, Harbor is a SaaS that I built about a year and a half ago. And then recently I rebuilt it from scratch. This rebuild took me, the content writing part of this took me maybe five to 10 hours. Now, the only thing I will say is obviously per article, Harbor is much cheaper, but this method here, it is expensive, but like it, it literally took me two minutes to build and you could offer this to people. You could make it so they put their own API key, for example, so you don't have to worry about cost. You could put ads here, for example, like I could do that very, very quickly, very, very easily. I am thinking of doing that, but yeah, that, that's not for this video. So basically this is just a local host running Python um, server using fast API. And I'm just going to show you how easy this actually was. So before continuing with the video, just a quick word from our sponsor today, me. In the video description and in the pinned comment, there is a link to the school community. If you want to learn a little bit more about what we're talking about, from the absolute basics of coding all the way to being an absolute master in these things, launching production ready apps, SaaS applications, and I've launched hundreds of websites as well. I've been there, I've done that. I have three SASs currently. If you wanna learn how I'm doing that, I've put everything that I've ever learned about Claude Code, Stacks, Next.js, all of that good stuff into the school community. Thanks for your attention. Let's get back to the main content. The first thing you do is you slash plugin and then you select the plugin that you want. It's stored for you, it's already installed. So then say, you've got to control C out and then Claude dash C and say, please activate activate the agent SDK dev plugin. And this should activate this now. This is what it built on the side, just so you guys know. It was very, very simple, very, very easy. So now I'm saying, can you activate it? Let's see if it works. So sometimes it's a little bit funny with whether or not it activates it. I'm not really sure what the problem is, but okay. Yeah, it's been installed. So you have to do slash agent SDK. I actually forgot. So this is how you start the plugin. So you just do the slash command and it adds custom slash commands. Let's press enter. Now this is basically trained on the documentation for the Claude agent SDK. So I'm going to say Python here just because I find AI works with Python a little bit better. Let's just zoom in a little bit so we can all see. Second choice, what would you like to name your project? Um, example, sure, why the hell not? And then it's going to give me, you know, what, what do I actually want to build? What kind of agent are you building? I want to you to build me an agent and a simple, fast API server for users to interact with the agent. It should take input of site URL and keyword and use various tools to find information and uh, images from the website themselves and then write a blog post with, um, with visualizations of interesting data and output to the user so they can see the content and copy it, etc. I would just say, uh, get it to, uh, yeah, uh, output in HTML, but without unnecessary HTML tags as this content will be going on a CMS. Okay, let's see what it builds.
But this is a slightly different prompt to the one that I gave it the first time. The first time I was just testing, I uh, installed it, etc., etc. So, and I just said, what would you like? And I just said, context aware that finds images, blah, blah, blah. And it literally just made the entire thing. This would normally take ages, just so you know. Uh, fourth question, would you like a full featured setup? Okay, let's just say something in between. Now let's do a full featured setup. And then, yeah, this should build what I'm trying to build. Now, this is not necessarily recommended if you're paying for the API usage because it's extremely expensive um, to write an article. I mean, when I say extremely expensive, it's 40 cents for, uh, let me just show you the article that I actually wrote, like a pretty damn good article that would almost definitely rank on Google. And it's probably written pretty well as well, to be honest with you. I haven't read it, but I'm just going to assume because it's using Claude Code's kind of brain, if that makes sense. So let's just watch this in action. The first thing it does is it rereads the documentation just to make sure that it's got everything completely up to date. Okay, guys, so we should be able to get something running here. There we go. Let's go to localhost 8000. This is a one shot, remember, guys. So absolutely everything we can see here has been completely one shot. Localhost 8000, beautiful. So it hasn't made a UI, it's just made an API, that's fine. Um, so we could run it here, but I'd rather have a UI UX for people to see. <laughs> it's activating the front end design. I'll be back in a sec when this is finished, it's now gonna make an actual front end design instead of just something simple. This is kind of like AI Studio in Claude Code, just so you guys know, Google AI Studio, the one that makes an inc incredibly simple uh, AI integrated tool. That's kind of what is going on here as well. Okay, so I just gave myself a UI so I could actually interact a bit more easily. And then we'll do uh, best sneakers for men in 2026 and then generate. Now we can actually see what it's doing. Okay, so I'm just going to get it to use curl to fix and test the response here so they can see its own response. This will just make things a little bit quicker. I might not have set the API key, maybe that could be it. Okay, so you can see it's now finished and we have the article. Unfortunately, this time it wasn't able to get the images. Last time it did get the images. I'm not sure what happened here. There was a little bit of an issue, but it seems to have found the products like Zilli, we sell Zilli, or the company I used to work for sells Zilli. Santoni is on two men, Premiata is, this is all from two men. These are definitely real um, shoes. It wasn't able to get images this time, but you can see on the other one that I did do, this one, um, it was able to get images. So it's, it's perfectly capable of getting images. I just couldn't this time. But yeah, again, this was pretty much a one shot. We can copy the HTML here. We can put it here, for example. We can see what this would actually look like. There we go. Beautiful. Really, really nice the way that it's laid it out. Um, obviously, this needs a lot of refinement. I'm not trying to say that this content maker is insane but like the actual process of being able to create something that you could easily put online, right? This is now just a fast API server that is running with the Claude agent SDK. You could make anything for ads here to monetize it, right? Just something simple, get people to put their own API keys so you don't have to worry about API costs, put Google ads on it and make like a free blogger. Like I'm sure that would get traffic or like a free whatever. So yeah, guys, I'm going to leave the video there. I've got some other things cooking, uh, especially with games. So if you're interested in seeing some games content, then definitely get ready for that. Making games, online games, uh, multiplayer games, things like that, because I've found a pretty cool method to do that as well. And yeah, that's pretty much this update. This is a really, really nice update. I love that they've added um, plugins, right? Let's just see what else there actually is. Okay, so Claude, Opus 4.5 migration, migrate your code and prompts from Sonic 4. Okay, code review, pretty cool. Context 7. Okay, feature dev. Okay. I might try one of these with Grove because I'm I'm on the last kind of features on it, my SEO Grove rebuild. Oh, Figma, wow. Okay, very interesting. So there's some really interesting stuff here, guys. Definitely worth a look. Notion, Playwright, obviously. That was end-to-end -end testing MCP server. So this looks like it comes with MCP servers as well, which is definitely interesting. 
and you can add new marketplaces if this doesn't have all of the ones that you want you could definitely add marketplaces it looks like either i don't think i i think this was given to me automatically you can see 16th of the 12th 2025 i didn't do anything to add this right so they've just added this this is a new update definitely check this out guys this is one to watch um it'll be very interesting to see what they come out with i wonder so if you install this do you just get wait user scopes open mcp Let's see if we now have the Playwright MCP. Interesting. Use the Playwright MCP to check what we have made. Hmm. That's a bit of a game changer. That just installed the Playwright MCP instantly across all my users. Very, very interesting. Wow. Okay. That was like instant as well. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave the video there. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.